Today's lesson is on special right triangles. Take a minute to read over the learning goal and scale. Find where you are on the scale before we begin the lesson. Certain right triangles have certain properties that allow us to use shortcuts to determine the side lengths without using the Pythagorean theorem. The acute angles of a right isosceles triangle are both 45 degree angles. Another name for a right isosceles triangle is a 45-45-90 triangle. If each leg has length x and the hypotenuse has length y, you can solve for y in terms of x. Let's start with the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Since each leg has the length x, let's substitute x in for a and b. Since the hypotenuse has length y, let's substitute y in for c. So x squared plus x squared equals y squared. Combine like terms, or simplify, and 2x squared equals y squared. Take the positive square root of both sides, and y equals x times the square root of 2. By using the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the length of y, we just proved the 45-45-90 triangle theorem. In a 45-45-90 triangle, both legs are congruent, and the length of the hypotenuse is the square root of 2 times the length of a leg. In example 1, we will find the length of the hypotenuse. What is the value of each variable? We know that the hypotenuse is the square root of 2 times the length of the leg in a 45-45-90 triangle. Since the leg is 9 units long, we will substitute 9 in for the length of the leg. So h equals 9 times the square root of 2. Again, for part b, we know the length of the hypotenuse equals the square root of 2 times the length of the leg. Since the length of the leg is 2 times the square root of 2, we will substitute that in here. The square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2, so 2 times 2 will give us 4. Pause the video and do you try number 1. What is the length of the hypotenuse of a 45-45-90 triangle with leg length of 5 radical 3? We know that the hypotenuse is the square root of 2 times the length of the leg. Since the leg has a length of 5 times the square root of 3, we will substitute that in our equation here. The square root of 2 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 6 times the square root of 5 is 5 radical 6. In example 2, we will find the length of a leg. What is the value of x? In a 45-45-90 triangle, we know the length of the hypotenuse is the square root of 2 times the length of the leg. Since the length of the leg is x, we will substitute that in here. Now divide both sides by the square root of 2. So x equals 6 over the square root of 2. Since we cannot have a radical in the denominator, we need to rationalize the denominator. In order to get rid of this radical without changing the value of x, we want to multiply 6 over the square root of 2 by 1, but we also want to do so so that we can get rid of this radical. Let's multiply by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. So the square root of 2 times 6 is 6 radical 2, and the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2. Now let's simplify. 6 divided by 2 is 3, so x will equal 3 times the square root of 2. Pause the video and do you try number 2. The length of the hypotenuse of a 45-45-90 triangle is 10. What is the length of one leg? In a 45-45-90 triangle, the length of the hypotenuse is the square root of 2 times the length of a leg. Since the length of this leg is x, we will substitute x here. Divide both sides by the square root of 2, and x equals 10 divided by the square root of 2. We need to rationalize the denominator, so we're going to multiply 10 over the square root of 2 by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. The square root of 2 times 10 is 10 radical 2, and the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2. Now let's simplify by dividing 10 by 2, and x will equal 5 times the square root of 2. Why is it okay to multiply 10 over the square root of 2 by radical 2 over radical 2? Since the square root of 2 over the square root of 2 equals 1, multiplying 10 over the square root of 2 by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2 is the same as multiplying it by 1. 
In example three, we will find distance. A high school softball diamond is a square. The distance from base to base is 60 feet. To the nearest foot, how far does the catcher throw the ball from home plate to second base? Since the diagonal of a square bisects these angles, we know that this is a 45-45-90 triangle. And we also know that the length of the hypotenuse is the square root of 2 times the length of a leg. Since the length of a leg is 60, we will substitute 60 here. Because in real life, we don't give distances in radical form, I don't tell people I live the square root of 50 miles away from school, we want to go ahead and use the calculator and take the square root of 2 times 60. Since the square root of 2 times 60 is 84.85281374 approximately, the distance from home plate to second base is approximately 85 feet. Pause the video and do you try number three. You plan to build a path along one diagonal of a 100 foot by 100 foot square garden. To the nearest foot, how long will the path be? Since our garden is square, we know that the diagonal path will bisect our angles, creating a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. We also know that the length of the hypotenuse is the square root of 2 times the length of a leg. Since each leg is 100 feet, we will substitute 100 here. Use your calculator to multiply the square root of 2 times 100. Since the square root of 2 times 100 is 141.4213562, and we are to round to the nearest foot, we will round 141 down because the tenths place is a 4. So our path will be approximately 141 feet long. Another type of special right triangle is a 30-60-90 triangle. In a 30-60-90 triangle, the length of the hypotenuse is twice the length of the shorter leg. The length of the longer leg is the square root of 3 times the length of the shorter leg. You can also use the 30-60-90 triangle theorem to find side lengths. In example 4, we will use the length of one side. What is the value of d in simplest radical form? Since d is the length of the shorter leg, and we know the length of the longer leg, let's use the relationship between the shorter and the longer legs of a 30, 60, 90 triangle. We know that the longer leg is the square root of 3 times the length of the shorter leg. Since 5 is the length of the longer leg, we will substitute that in here. And since d is the length of the shorter leg, we will substitute that in here. So 5 equals d times the square root of 3. Divide both sides by the square root of 3 and d equals 5 over the square root of 3. Let's rationalize the denominator by multiplying 5 over the square root of 3 by the square root of 3 over the square root of 3. Since the square root of 3 times 5 equals 5 radical 3, and the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 equals 3, d equals 5 times the square root of 3 over 3. Pause the video and do you try number 4. What is the value of f in simplest radical form? Remember, d had a value of 5 times the square root of 3 over 3. In a 30-60-90 triangle, the length of the hypotenuse is twice the length of the short leg. Since the length of the short leg is 5 times the square root of 3 over 3, f will equal 2 times 5 times the square root of 3 over 3. Now simplify. Since 2 times 5 is 10, f will equal 10 times the square root of 3 over 3. In example 5, we will apply the 30-60-90 triangle theorem. An artisan makes pendants the shape of equilateral triangles. The height of each pendant is 18 millimeters. What is the length, s, of each side of the pendant to the nearest tenth of a millimeter? In equilateral triangles, every angle measure is 60 degrees. The perpendicular bisector creates a 90 degree angle and bisects this 60 degree angle to be 30. We now have a 30-60-90 triangle. In a 30-60-90 triangle, we know the long leg is the square root of 3 times the length of the short leg. So 18 equals the square root of 3 times x. Divide both sides by the square root of 3 and x equals 18 over the square root of 3. 
Let's rationalize the denominator by multiplying 18 over the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 over the square root of 3. The square root of 3 times 18 is 18 radical 3, and the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is 3. Let's simplify by dividing 18 by 3, and x will equal 6 times the square root of 3. Since the hypotenuse of a 30-60-90 triangle is twice the length of the short leg, we know s will equal 2 times 6 times the square root of 3, or 12 times the square root of 3. Use your calculator to multiply the square root of 3 times 12, and s equals approximately 20.8 millimeters. Pause the video and do you try number 4. Suppose the sides of the pendant were 18 millimeters long instead of the height. What would be the height of the pendant to the nearest millimeter? We know the hypotenuse of a 30, 60, 90 triangle is twice the length of the short side. Divide both sides by 2, and the length of the short side is 9 millimeters. We know the length of the long side, or the height, will be the square root of 3 times the length of the short side. Use your calculator to multiply the square root of 3 times 9, and the height of the pendant is approximately 15.6 millimeters. Now is your chance to see how well you understand the lesson. Pause the video and do the lesson check. Don't forget to check your answers on the next slide. If you have any questions about the lesson check, be sure to ask me in class. Now take another minute to reread the learning goal on the scale. Have you climbed any higher on the scale since we began the lesson?